Yes. Oh, we cooked the Tom Kha and the Muscle Man Curry. Yeah. yeah. Which one do you think is difficult? Um, I think that the Muscle Man Curry is more difficult than the Tom Kha. But then I don't eat Tom Kha usually. I like Muscle Man Curry. So I'll pay more attention to that. We only cook Pad Thai and the, um, um, the salad. So I, I don't know about the other ways of cooking Thai cuisine. But for Pad Thai, it's good. We, we follow the recipe and um, it's a good success. Well, I like Pad Thai, but uh, other than that, I, lo I love the salads, like papaya salad and pomelo salad and other things like that. They're very good. And of course your curries, all the different colors, the, the green and the red, also, also very, very good. Yes, because there's lots of ingredients, lots of fresh ingredients. In my country, the food is very uh, bland. So it's, we just steam everything, but in Thai food there's lots of um, chilies and the sauce. It's really lots, yeah, big variety. Well, I'm American, so you know, our, our cuisine is pretty simple. You know, I think that uh, Thai, Thai cooking has a, a, a much greater history. It has a much longer tradition. I think it's probably much, it's much more nuanced. You have different ingredients coming in over time across many generations, more than American cooking. So I think it's it's much more complicated. Yes, yeah, and a better taste. I like Thai food. It's been fantastic, Bob. It's been great here with colleagues. I've learned a lot, and we've had a great laugh, and hopefully some delicious food. It's been really fun. The atmosphere is really exciting, and uh, I think we're having a great time. It's really fun, and it's a great activity. Also, Isan food, the best. I love Isan food. Namprek. I love Namprek. Yeah. And northern food. Sausage. So good. Fermented pork sausage. Ah. If you make that, I will come back and learn how to make that here. Cool.